All right guys, welcome to this page of the notes. Here we go, let's just jump right into these example problems. Here's what we've got. I want you to graph. We're gonna graph a line that passes through the point negative one, two. This is my point. I want you, right, I want you to graph the line that passes through this point and is parallel. Please remember, parallel means same slope. Same slope. So I want you to graph a line that passes through this point and is parallel to what? To the graph of this guy. All right, here we go. In order to write the equation of a line, in order to write the equation of a line, we're going to do y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. Go back to the first page of the notes. This is our point slope equation for a line. Point slope equation for a line. In order to use this formula, I need a point and I need a slope, which I'm gonna get from this guy, right? They are parallel, uh, actually here, let's do the point first. So my point is negative one, two. Now I need a slope. Well, where am I gonna get the slope from? Well, I know the slope of the line, my slope, this guy right here, I need this slope to be parallel to this guy. Well, what's the slope of this line? It's five. This right here, this is the slope. So, if five is the slope of this line and I, I need a line that's parallel, what does my slope have to be? I also need a slope of five, right? What makes lines parallel? They have the same slope. Guys, plug and chug, right? It's plug and chug. Don't fat finger something on your calculator and you're good to go. Here we go. I've got y minus y1, that's a two equals slope, that's five, times x minus x1, that's a negative one. Careful, careful of your signs. I have minus, right, from the formula, minus, and then my x1 is a negative one, so minus a minus one. All right, here we go. y minus two is equal to five times x, negative of a negative, negative signs cancel each other out, and I would have plus one. Distribute the five through the parentheses. Y minus two is equal to five X plus five. Awesome. Add two. I have to add two to both sides because that's a minus two, so I add two to both sides. That gets the Y by itself. Five X, five, six, seven. And here's what I got. I have the equation of my line in slope intercept form. Remember the way this works. This is my y intercept, positive seven. Count it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Put your y intercept in there. That's my y intercept right there. Then, what's my slope? Well, Boom, slope is five. Remember, it's rise over run, rise over run. So a five is a five over one. That means I have to go up five and over one. Well, look, I'm already at seven. If I count up five, I go off of the graph. That's no bueno. So what is the same if, if I were to go up five and write one what else could I do that's the exact same thing? Well, if I can't go up five and right one, I could go down five and left one. That's the exact same thing. So one, two, three, four, five, and back one. In fact, that works so well, let's do it again. One, two, three, four, five, back one. Gosh, that works really well. Let's do it again. 
five back one perfect guys when you graph for me please make sure that you extend your line the entire way through the coordinate plane and put arrows on both ends you need to put arrows on both ends so that I know you know that line just keeps going right those arrows tell me that that line extends to infinity in both directions I need to know that you know that and you need to extend that line the entire way through the coordinate plane please do not give me these little lines that are just right there with your little arrows on it right that's not good enough I gave you a 10 by 10 coordinate plane use the entire coordinate plane from one side to the other put arrows on there so I know you know that line just keeps going guys here's what we did point slope form I gave you a point you pulled the slope out of here you knew it needed to be the same because they're parallel it's plug and chug you plug everything in do the algebra right nice and easy you'll get it in slope intercept form y intercept slope let's do another one gosh that's good algebra jeez I love algebra okay here we go um let's see what I got oh look at this boom got myself a point yes I do and oh look at that boom perpendicular that means I need negative reciprocal negative reciprocal okay here we go so I'm going to use y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1 in order to use that formula I need a point and I need a slope well no problemo they gave me a point three negative one now I need a slope well they tell me that the lines need to be perpendicular so I come to the line that they gave me y equals 4x minus 2 what is the slope of this line well yeah the slope is 4 careful I need a perpendicular line so can I use the slope they gave me you need to take the negative reciprocal what is the negative reciprocal of a positive 4 well, the negative reciprocal would be a negative 1 fourth now we're all set plug and chug y minus careful watch your signs my y1 is a negative one so minus a minus one is equal to negative one fourth x minus three hey listen it's a fraction i know please we're in geometry fractions are our friends we can easily deal with fractions let's do this I'm gonna kill two birds with one stone I am gonna distribute that one fourth through the parentheses and I know a negative times negative is a positive so I'm gonna have y plus one is equal to negative one fourth x um, negative times negative would be a positive and one fourth times three would be three fourths so plus three okay here we go in order to get that y by itself I need to subtract one from both sides minus one minus one that gets me that y all by itself I get y is equal to negative one fourth x okay here we go three fourths minus one don't use a calculator you got you got a good calculator right here God gave you a great one let's use it three fourths minus one in order to subtract fractions I need a common denominator so I need to put a 4 in the denominator of this 1 but algebra says whatever I do to the bottom I have to do to the top so I'm gonna multiply this guy by 4 over 4 that means I wind up with 3 fourths minus well, 1 times 4 is 4 over 4 you guys can do that 3 minus 4 it's a negative one and because I'm adding and subtract or I'm subtracting fractions you keep the dumb and common denominator so what is three-fourths minus one negative one-fourth okay this one a little bit trickier to graph let's show you how we do this first negative one-fourth that is my y intercept okay that's going to be a little tricky right negative one fourth is 0.25 it's a quarter 0.25 so as best you can get a 0.25 in there I, I'm not going to go super crazy on it as long as you're between 
zero and negative one. Hey, that looks really good to me. Negative 2.5 or negative 0.25. I like it. Now, from that y-intercept, my slope is negative one-fourth. That means a rise of negative one and a run of four. Down one and right four. But you're going from negative 0.25. So I'm going to go down one. That takes me to negative 1.25. And then right four. One, two, three. So I'm going to have a point down one, right about there. Again, I'm not going to be super picky, right? As long as it is between negative two and negative one, right? You did a good job down one and over four. That works so well. Let's do it again. Down one, right about in there-ish. Feels really pretty good to me. I think those that, that's pretty good, right? So I know I'm not going from a whole number. That's okay. You should be okay with that. Negative 0.25, negative 0.25, go down one. So negative 1.25 and then write four. What else could I do? If instead of going down one and write four, I could go up one and left four. Okay. So up one, one, two, three, four, yeah, right about there. That works so well, let's do it again. Up one, right about there. Hey, okay, that's good. Connect those points uh, with a line and make sure you extend your line all the way through the coordinate plane. Let's see how this goes. I am freehand in these. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. Hey, make sure you put arrows on both ends so that I know you know that line just keeps going to infinity and you need that line to extend all the way through the coordinate plane. Don't just give me some short little jobber there that doesn't tell me anything. All the way through um, slope intercept form. Head on over to the next page of the notes, guys. We'll try a couple more of these. I'll meet you there.